Hi everyone, how are you today? So today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to teach you how to buy from Superbuy. Superbuy is a third party website that goes through the mystical T-Mall and Taobao. A lot of cosplayers use Taobao to buy their fabric. However, I don't speak Cantonese or Mandarin and if you're watching this, it's probably a safe bet to say you don't know how to speak it either. But thankfully for us, Superbuy just translates everything for us because we don't know how to speak the language. And they will buy the items on our behalf and ship it to their warehouse where we can pay for shipping to our respective countries. So I usually get it sent to Australia because that's where I live, of course, but it can ship pretty much anywhere. They have a whole list. Um, I don't know if it is fully comprehensive of all countries. However, I think it definitely serves majority of countries within the world, especially America and Australia, because Australia kind of gets the bottom of the barrel when it comes to cosplay things and cheap prices and when it comes to fabric, foam, patents, releases of new things, contact lenses. Yeah, we, we don't get that much. But when we do get something, it's expensive. It's super expensive. And I found that Superbuy is a cheap alternative, decently priced, and it will actually endeavor to get the best price for you and your shipping. So I'm just going to go straight into this tutorial. It may take a couple of months because we're shipping from China and it's not like a 40 minute drive down the road or anything. So let's jump into the camera view now. Okay, so we are now on the Superbuy website. So it, it looks pretty easy to work through and I'm just going to show you where you can sign up and it's so simple. If you've signed up for AliExpress or eBay before, it's pretty much the same process as well. So let's just go for it. Let's go. So this is the screen here. You'll have to put your password that you want and your email in and then put the verification code in. I already have an account, so you can easily put in your own password and your own email and also make sure you use your address as Australia if you're an Australian citizen, but if you're in the US, make sure you click that and put your respective address in and make sure it's really descriptive of where you are because majority of the time this is translated into Mandarin or Cantonese for the lovely people to use so that they can understand what's going on. So let's just go straight back into the home website and as a new user you'll actually get some coupons as well and for every order you get points. On the mobile app, they actually have a daily check-in where you can get 10 points daily. I definitely recommend you get the app because you'll be able to get more money off from your shipping, which is making it really cheap for you in the end by just having that daily check-in. So how do we exactly get the item we want? Well, Superbuy already has this product name um, search tool when you log in. Um, it, it's, a, it's a bit weird sometimes. However, we will just search up something really cute. Let's go love live not semicolon cosplay. We're into love live. Let's look it up. So it will come up with a range and it will have different items. You can be really specific on the item, however, majority of the time it can't get that specific item. So looking down, we've got some wigs, we've got some cosplays, and let's say I really, really, really want this Nozomi cosplay here. We'll go into the item here, and this is a Nozomi cosplay, and it's actually a fairly decent price, but when you click onto the kimono plus tube top and everything, it, that's it and we'll go our size 
the price has changed because we're buying a full item. Majority of the time with Taobao, they'll go with the cheapest price first. So that would be like for the wig or for the fan. And then they'll use that to really grab you and hook you into this item. However, majority of the time for a cosplay, it's around about $80 to $100, which may seem like really expensive, but however, you're getting the full item itself and you're not going to have to sew it, which is definitely a big thing for me that I don't want to sew it because, you know, when you work a nine to five, you're not going to be able to whip up a cosplay in like two days. <laughs> so they also give you a domestic delivery if the warehouse or the specific seller needs to ship it from a certain area of China to the Super Buyer Warehouse. So it will be shown here in US or in the Wuhan. It, you can put it as USD, however they currently don't have AUD, which I'm a little sad over, but I feel like it's really good to keep the USD in mind because it gives us a rough estimate of what it would be in AUD as well. So. They do have different warehouses, so they have this warehouse here, and then for Timor they have a separate warehouse that it goes to, so just be mindful of which warehouse it's going to because sometimes if they go to separate warehouses they'll need to ship your item from warehouse number two to number one so that they can ship it out. So just be careful with that. That's just a little tidbit that I found out. So as we scroll down, they'll give you some tips on what their rules and policies are on after sales and even about certain items. So if they're sensitive, um, if they're going to fray, if they can ignite as well, you need to make sure that these items won't get stopped in customs. So for Australia, it's like food. Are they packaged? Um, are you getting dried seeds or nuts? Um, I don't think you would be buying that because we're all about cosplay here. So we'll just go down to the product details and they'll get all of the photos that on Taobao that the seller has put. Sometimes if the seller has put pictures, it won't translate it properly. So best thing to do is use your phone and get some Google Translate and there's a photo capability so you can just hold it up to the image and scan it in and majority of the time these measurements would be like your bust and your waist. Um, majority of the time they don't have a hip measurement. Sometimes they'll just have a bust and a shoulder measurement. So have those measurements handy if you're buying a full cosplay. Other than that, have the measurements of the fabric you want handy so you know how much you want to buy. And of course, they'll have the product details and pictures of it, a little turnabout, and they'll show you all the details of what it is, the wig, and of course, they'll show you the agent notes of what is not allowed and what Superbike does not accept, full stop but items that they may be worried about and you may have to have a limited quantity of. So they'll also tell you here, down beneath every item, they'll tell you where it is okay to ship through and what sizes are okay. And of course your after sales service and your queries and anything like that. So that's using their system. Let's go to Taobao and Let's see what it's actually like. So right now we are on my, one of my favorite Love Life cosplay stores. So this store is like absolutely on top of everything. They come out with the newest cosplays which generally trickle down into the AliExpress stores as another summer or they'll tend to outsource a lot of their costumes. So it, it depends. So say for example, we absolutely love the All Stars outfit. Let's go in there. As a future note, I have my own account here and I also have Google Translate running in the background on Chrome. Definitely get Chrome if you don't have it because you'll be able to easily translate pretty much any language if you have Google Translate. So make sure you click always translate these pages so you can get the sizes and a general like somewhat 
idea of what they're selling. So for example, this would be a custom size there because we've got our extra small, our small, medium, large, and extra large. But majority of times some places use a custom size which doesn't really translate that well. We now have other measurements do not exceed 100. Yeah, so I definitely, as someone that isn't an Asian size, would definitely get a custom fit. And they'll even give you a range for your price and the amount you would roughly be spending in AUD. So if I wanted the blue one, I would want to click custom and then full amount, blue group and tailored. So that one's already been pre-selected and it's roughly around about 395 won or around about $80 Australian. So that, that's an alright price, that's pretty decent. So going down, this is still translated here and they'll have the notes and further down they'll have all of the images scrolling and scrolling and then we have their chart here so this store is actually really nice and they have the English already there however some stores don't have that so this one's a really good store if you just want to buy cosplay itself and you know just wear it and have it ready to go kind of like a turnkey style it's just that it's good to go and I'll also include the link for this store down in the description below. So if I specifically want this item itself, we can go back a page and cop click on there and copy the link, or we can go up top in the URL bar and copy that. Let's go back to Superbuy. So we're back at Superbuy where I searched everything. Let's delete that one and control V. There's our item URL and hopefully they have it in their system already so someone would have bought it beforehand and it's a really popular item so I think someone definitely has bought this before and now we have our translated item here so they have all the pictures as per the last page and if we scroll down yeah it's the same so scrolling back up we can see that we've got all the different groups we've got the tailored and then we've got the other measurement and then we've got full payment so if I wanted the blue one and I wanted other measurements full payment we can either buy now so we're only just buying that one item now and going to ship it or we can add it to our cart like that oh tailored I need to make sure it's tailored so we've added it to our cart it's good to go and we can actually go check out now if we want to. However, let's go to my account and you'll see why I tend to not buy now specifically. So this is my cart. I have a whole range of fabrics that I want to buy. And also if we scroll down there's 29 items and it will detail the price of all the items and the local delivery cost. So more than likely, as the more items you buy, the more likely you are to get a local delivery fee, or depending if they have a deal on currently or something like that, or if it's 11.11, or if it's a super buy anniversary, they'll definitely give you a discount or something like that. Or even, uh, I think it was like, Singles Day, they give you one, and just before Chinese New Year or New Year over in Asia, they'll give you some discounts. I'm more than happy with the amount that I have here, and this roughly, this amount here, because I keep it in one so that I don't know how much I'm actually spending, it would be roughly, let's see, so from one to Australian dollars, it's pretty strong right now. So the exchange rate is around about, for every Chinese one, it's around about 20 cents Australian. So that actually makes a pretty good conversion rate because it's pretty steady right now because the global pepperoni is starting to calm down. So let's just put the amount, I like to round it up by an extra dollar or one, just to make sure that I've got enough in budget. So one, so we're going 452 
So that's around about $90 Australian or 91 So think of that as like your initial first payment there and then your second payment will be pretty much the same price depending on what shipper you go with. So I'm actually going to submit all of these items right now. So when you're absolutely happy with what you've got and the price and everything like that and you've gone through, you're a you okay with everything, we can go through here. So this excludes in the international delivery fee and we're all good to go. Yeah? Are we? Are we? Okay. Yeah, we are. So I'm going to submit this one and we'll go onto the next page there. So it will have the item purchase, so your payment and local delivery fee. So we're just gonna go here and we're going to put Australia. Wait, it's actually in the popular ones. So as you can see in just that brief moment, they have a lot of countries that they service. So I definitely think you guys would have the availability to use this service. And I'm not sponsored by the way. I definitely really like this service. Speaking of sponsored, if Superbuy wants to sponsor me, I'll definitely do it. Like. I, I, I just love this service. I love it so much that I'm making a tutorial so others can actually use it. Also, did you know that only 5% of viewers are actually subscribed to me? Yeah, so while we're here, press that subscribe button because I just submitted around about $90 Australian worth of stuff just so I can tell you guys what to do. Also, as a part of everything, you can get a detailed photo for free of your items so they will take it out of the packaging take a photo of it and then show you in the future when it's actually at the warehouse and you can inspect it and say whether you're happy with it or not i think that's an added bonus because sometimes when you buy from aliexpress you have no idea what's coming to you even if there's review pictures sometimes it doesn't look like the review pictures and then you're left with something that you didn't even pay for yeah i know it's absolutely crazy and it's happened to me a lot and I've just so much fabric wasted. Also just an added tip, if you see the specific message where it says I agree to remove the item for the order if the item cannot be purchased and continue with the rest of my order, what that means is they have a limited availability on some of these items and that means that sometimes they may not be able to purchase them However, they'll directly refund you the amount that you've put on. So for example, I bought some lace a while ago with my first Super Buy haul and it didn't come through. So they directly refunded me the amount, which was around about like 20 cents Australian. So I'm pretty happy about that and we can use it for this purchase as well. When we are completely done and happy with everything, they make sure that you are more than happy to get these items. So I'm just going to submit and I'm ready to go and I'm more than happy to do everything. It will come to your billing address and it will have three different payments that you can go with. But honestly, I use PayPal myself because it is the safest method and we can actually get those funds back in case something does happen. I haven't done anything else. I've done multiple purchases with Superbuy before and nothing bad has really happened. However, if you want to go credit card or a debit card, you can use that one down below in the second option. They have your balance as well. So I have some money left over from that refund. And then they have Bitcoin. I don't know if you have Bitcoin. I would say that if I were you, but if you want to spend it on cosplay, you're more than welcome to. Make sure that all your details are correct and everything's ready to go. There is an option for you to actually top up um, kind of like a little piggy bank that you have with Superbuy. However, I don't really want to do that. I just want to use PayPal. So let's use that one. So the top up now button is actually the submit button. So let's go. So we have paid for everything. At the end, it came to $105 for me. Sorry, a little bit more than estimated, but that is perfectly okay. That is fine. So this will take around about three to seven days that they'll get the payment 
and they'll actually buy everything. So give them around about a fortnight or so so that everything can start going. So keep an eye on your account and that's where that phone app definitely comes in handy. So you can picture and see where everything is at. So right now, they've only just gotten the payment. So we'll see how it goes. And a different tip is that they use PayPal in the sense of USD. So when you're going from Australian dollars to USD, make sure you're able to find out what the conversion rate is at the moment. At the moment for us, it's actually pretty good right now. It's really good. Mm, yeah. So we can go in and continue and shop away if we want to, or we can view our order and we can see all of the items that I have bought and it will show you the price which warehouse it's going to and actually from there we can see that the order is pen that the order is pending we can see the details of it as well and then of course once it's in the warehouse they take a picture of it around about three or four and they'll make sure that the item is in good nick they will show you what you want and you can actually go back and either refund or return it if you want to or see if there is any chance to buy extra detailed photos and you can give them a quick message of I want you to show me the tag on the inside and they'll take that for an extra added fee however this is actually a pretty good service right now because you're getting free for free for four photos for free oh my gosh my English just flubbed out there but again, we'll wait in a couple of days and we'll see how we go. Uh, majority of the time, it takes around about a fortnight or three weeks for everything to be in there. And I would make sure that you're religiously keeping an eye on those tracking logistics because sometimes they get stuck in places and you need to communicate with them. That hasn't happened to me, but I have heard of it happening to others. So I'll see you in around about three weeks or a fortnight. And from there, we'll get all the shipping. So I'll see you all in the next bit. Alrighty, so it's been some time. It's actually the 13th of April right now. And the reason why it took so long for me to actually get the items shipped to Superbuy was because some items were unable to actually be bought because they were out of stock or they weren't being sold anymore and the listing hadn't been updated or I had bought more things that I wanted. Now, it's totally fine as long as you don't go over the actual free amount of time that they give you. I think the amount of time is 90 days. I'll just make sure down here below that that's the correct number of days that you have to actually buy the items and ship it to you for free. So they'll store it for a free amount of time and then afterwards, after those amount of days, I think it's 90, correct me if I'm wrong, future me, but they will start charging you for actually storing those items. So keep on top of the amount of days that you have uh, actually got the items in the warehouse. So start a timer and they do have a handy dandy timer for you. I'll actually go into it now if I can find it. <laughs> So we'll go into my warehouse. So this right now is my warehouse and this is what is all in this selected warehouse. Sometimes if you get things off Tmall, they will go to the Hong Kong warehouse. So you'll have to ship them together if you want them all together or you can ship them separately. Personally, I like to make sure everything's in the one box so I can make sure that everything's up to schmick if I want to and everything's hunky-dory. So these are all the items. With this you can get a value added uh, service so that means you'll have to pay for another service. So for example you can give them a brief description of what you want for a photo. So for example you want them to have a measuring tape with a top and you want to make sure that the bust is the actual length of what they said in the seller. So you can ask for that. You can ask for a split order or to discard the item. You can get the extension to that period of time, like I mentioned, but that will cost you money. Warehouse customization. You can switch the packaging. You can trim the thread if there's any th um, stray threads or anything on there. 
um, another quality inspection. So they will give you three more photos on top of the three that they give you. Um, label removal. Some of these are free actually. And I'll show you towards the end when I do buy these that you can take off the original packaging, you can take off the labels, but if you're buying something that you may want to return and you think you have an inkling that you want to return it, do not take those off. Um, it's better for refunds and it's better to return it so that they have all the items on there because if you take them off, you're unable to refund it. So just keep that in your noggin for when you do buy something like that. And then you can get another third inspection um, of your power appliances. Honestly, I'm not going to be buying any appliances off here, but if you are, that's handy. And also the plastic sealing, the model try on so you can get someone to try it on. I doubt that there'll be someone who works in super wide that's around about my size, but if you're around about the average size of someone who is in China, so if you fit on those me measurements, see there. So if you fit on those measurement sheets that they have, same measurement sheets like three times in a row, measurement sheets, measurement sheets, measurement sheets, um, it will be hard to find one that actually is representative of what it will look like. And then of course they'll do a video, if I can go back to it, they will do a video capture of what it will look like. So if you bought a fabric and you think there's supposed to be a sheen to it, or there's supposed to be a color shift, you can buy this if you want to. So for example, I bought a fragile item here and it will have the warning of that it is fragile. So I bought some plastic flowers and plastic I'm kind of okay if they do come damaged. However, if you're really worried about a damaged product, you can return it if you want to. So just going through all the items that I have bought, um, there are some restricted items, metal buttons. If you buy something that looks gun-like or illegal or prohibited, you need to make sure that you're able to get it through customs. I honestly buy things that are either foam or treated wood when they come into Australia because Australia has really strict custom laws. Make sure that it is um, in, within the regulations of your custom laws. So for example, I'm just going to go, let's pick the sequins. I'm going to go into the inspection photo and they provide three photos. So here's the first one, the second one, and then the third one. So they'll just give you like a ruler and then it folded, laid out in a different way, that one. And you can see that you can tip them if you want to um, for the photo service or you can get the detailed photos here. So another item, uh, let's have a look. So I ordered 10 stars, so let's have a look. Let's make sure that they've got the 10 stars. So there's the one there, so that may worry you if you only just look at that one. So there's the back of it, it doesn't have any backing or anything like that, it doesn't have a pin, so you'll have to sew that on yourself. Um, and then we go there, we've got all of our 10 stars. So I'm pretty happy with that because sometimes if you only take it at face value, uh, you might buy more than you need to. And that has happened to me in the past because I didn't realize they had three photos for free. So there are also additional um, services that you can get on top of. So there are also additional services that you can get on top of them. So you can wait for a couple of hours to buy something and make sure that it goes through that way and just chill and have it for free. There is an extra service that you can get a speedy response. So that means instead of waiting for around about eight hours, you can pay for people to pretty much out of hours, no matter what, within the hour, purchase those items so that you know that they've definitely been bought within the day and you won't have to wait a little bit longer. So I would definitely say don't get it if you don't want to spend extra money, but honestly they're actually really fast when it comes to buying things and if there's any issues, which is how they alerted me that I wasn't able to buy some wigs and some fabric and um, some trim I think but they refunded me and I was able to buy other things with that refunded money. After you've looked at all of your items, make sure that you're happy with everything. Um, you can submit the items. So I'm gonna go through all of them. It's got all the zips and everything that I want and we're sending it to Australia. 
not to any other countries and we have four options available to us that we can use. EMS is hands down the cheapest option that you can go with. Multiple standard ones that you can buy if you want to. However, um, I honestly go with the cheapest one. Um, not for any other particular reason, it's because I just want the cheapest one. <laughs> So we've got the 34 items and they have an estimated value for the weight. So this is them getting into the warehouse and weighing the package as it is uh, wrapped in the original packaging. So the weight may be off by a little bit because it might not be the same weight with the packaging and everything. So let's submit that one. But before you click submit, that means you're actually committed to buying the item and you're going to be led to the payment page, meaning that it is going to go through no matter what. You want to buy this. You cannot back out of this immediately. While it's still in the warehouse, you can get it refunded. You can return it and get your money back. However, once you press submit, that's it. You have to buy it. So let's commit. So of course they will say that there is customs and there are restricted goods and they will be inspected. Whether or not you want that or not, it is not up to you, they will be inspected. So I've got, okay, got it. I've blurred out my address and my name and everything. And let's have a look for the cheapest one. So they would have a delivery notice here. Warning, the parcel will be sent to Wuhan by Domestic Express, uh, then handed over to Wuhan Post for international shipping. The transit time displayed on the website is estimated under normal conditions. So this is them pretty much telling us that hey COVID's a thing. So I'm not going to go with that one. There are more lines available but this one is a more expensive one because it is expressed because of that shipping time. So instead of what's the cheapest one, it's this one here. The EMS packet preferential line. So this one takes 7 to 20 working days whilst this one is around about five to 10 working days. So that's pretty fast, if, if I say so myself. However, they will give you the first weight price, which is around about either for the first kilogram or the, for the first 500 grams. Keep an eye on that one particularly, because that's how some people get caught up in prices. I know that definitely happened with me. I went with DHL one time and I thought it was going to be so easy because the first weight price was so cheap, but it turns out it wasn't. And also further down from there, we have all the ones that are unavailable and they'll tell you why. And that's because it's got metal buttons in there. And I want metal buttons because I want them to be shiny. So looking down, you've got all your basic ones and you can see that they're pretty expensive. They're really expensive. Honestly, I'm just gonna go with the preferential line. So in any purchasing of items, across the world, you need to make sure that you have a declaration of the amount that is coming in. So this is where the receipt for how much you bought it for it comes in handy. So I'm just going to quickly look up the PayPal price that I had paid. Or if you're unable to find it like me, go into your bank account and use the amount that was charged to your account because it's okay to estimate a little bit over as long as you know what your country's tax declaration is and well, if they're going to charge you. For example, Australia, they, I think it's around about a thousand dollars, but I don't think you're going to be buying a thousand dollars worth of stuff on Superbuy in one go. I think it would, I think it would take a little while to get there. Just for good measure to make sure that this one is accurate to how much I spent. I spent that amount of money in there and I'm gonna blur that much out but you guys definitely know how much I spent so we can scroll down from there and here are the free services that they allow for us to pick. So if we wanted to uh, we can remove the brand tagging so I don't have any brands tagged on these because I haven't bought any cosplays or anything like that directly from here. Um, if I wasn't confident in the sizing of that cosplay, I would actually not take that one. But because it's a lot of fabric and a lot of like trends and that kind of stuff on here, I'm actually going to say yes to that one. 
And then on top of that, I'm going to also say packet removal. So you do have multiple options that you can take out the box that it came in, or you can take off the plastic that was in it, or even some of the filling. You can take that out completely. I've said to all, so just take it all off. Take off that way. And if there's any extra money left over, please refund it to me so I can spend it on more things. <laughs> That's capitalism. But I am going to go for simple packaging as well, so that will minimize our weight. So for example, it will be lighter. However, they do come up with this uh, disclosure that it will be light and it will reduce the weight and it will save us on our shipping. However, with material, um, it may come damaged. Now that is a bit of a gamble in itself, but if you look at my Superbuy cosplay haul video, that is the actual packaging that it will come in. And later on in the video, you will see with the packaging that does come. It is actually pretty good if you ask me, but if you are worried about it, you can go, it doesn't matter, don't put it in simple packaging. I want it to be as fancy as a Lamborghini, like that kind of stuff. So let's say, got it, it's all good. Um, there is a tax warning, so it is inspected when clearing customs as per any item when you're going international and there is a fragile risk. So for example, I have the buttons in there and I have fabric that is see-through and will cancel and I have trim that is light sensitive, but a lot of the items are packed really well and I definitely trust them. So I'm pretty happy about that. And so sometimes with these transactions, I have a whole heap of credit that I can use on these. So I've been looking in every day to get credit so I can use it to save money on here. So a hundred credit is actually one one. So when you, and you can get credit immediately from buying items, from posting, and from reviewing items, and you can also log in daily to get those, those credit points. They do also have a value added services, so they will re-weigh the items outside of the packaging for you, and also they will give you uh, better packaging and items on top of that, but I don't want to pay more, I just want this to be here, in in my home. I want to, I want to sew. Um, so, haha. -ha. Let's go. So that's everything and there's the dimensions and the weight of the item. Sometimes when you get an item, the seller will give you a free item on top of it. So sometimes it's like sewing needles or thread or even like sometimes like a traditional like Chinese knot or depending on the time of year, some like Christmas stuff. Um, they will come up with a prompt of do you want to accept this item from the seller and they will also give you photo inspections of said item just to make sure that you want it and if not they will send it back to the seller and be like thank you very much but they don't want it and I accepted it because it's like hey thank you thank you for buying my thing and I'm like yes thank you thank you I'll grab your thing I'm looking at all the items and they have the restricted items there keep an eye on that and our fragile risks so we're happy with those and that is the estimated weight of what it would be. So this one would be around about a kilo or so. But this one is saying that estimated with all of those weights together, it would be seven kilos possibly. And that's because we've got a lot of fabric in there because I don't want to buy a lot of things so I'll just buy these. We are happy, ready to go and I don't have any coupons. So if you actually get involved with the Superbuy community, they will give you coupons. So for example, they'll give you 21 coupons or they'll give you 200 coupons, depending on the time of year, if it's Singles Day or if it's Chinese New Year, they'll give you different coupons. So I'm just going to accept, and this means that you are doing it, you accept the risks of the tax warning and the federal risk. Um, and we've submitted it for delivery. And then we will be brought to the payment page. So that is the amount that we have there. And it's asking for that particular amount up top with the shipping and the exchange rate currently. So that's a pretty good price. So like I said in the beginning, 
uh, budget around about double of what you've spent on the items. So for example, if you put $100 worth of stuff, you're going to pay $100 for shipping. It's a really good budgeting tool to actually show you how much you're going to be spending throughout the time. So I'm pretty happy with these and I'm going to go for PayPal again. You have the same methods and let's go. So I'll see you in a tick. So after the payment page has loaded and everything's done, I honestly just put all my details in like the beginning and we'll be ready within six hours and I'll have the tracking number ready to go. Um, most of the time I go on 17track or those global tracking websites to make sure that it's all good on their end and it's actually been sent out. The team on here is actually really good and they will actually notify you when it has been sent out for delivery and they do have an internal tracking system. However, I do like to go to a third party tracker just to make sure that everything's all good and to double check because sometimes they get more details on like 17 track than they do on the Super Buy website. So all we need to do now is just sit back and wait and it may take 20 days or seven, but honestly, I'm ready for it to take a month because most things from China to Australia take ages. Absolutely such a long time. And I, I, yeah, I, I don't understand people that are able to get things like really quickly in like America or in the US. Honestly, I don't get other people that are overseas that complain about shipping times because honestly, I had to wait from the start of last year up until, oh, I don't know, I moved like mid-year so I was worried that an item that I had coming wasn't going to get to my um, previous address in time for me to move. Luckily enough it did, but that was like seven months after, so yeah, that was a crazy time. So honestly, let's just sit back and wait. Thanks for watching this video on how to buy from Superbuy. I hope you guys found this easy and really simple to use and had a lot of tips on the way and found them useful as well. The haul of all the items that I purchased in this video will be up next week. If you want to see this video early, head on over to my Patreon. The link will be down in the description below. This video was brought to you by my Patreons. To see your name in the video here, become a Patreon today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, I'll see you guys later. Bye.